Good evening, guys, and welcome back to Game of Thrones Season 6, Episode 5, The Door. The episode is about to start any minute. I finally get to actually watch it on TV for once because I'm staying at my parents' house for a couple days taking care of the dog while they're away. And I'm really excited for this episode. I'm pretty sure it probably has something to do with Arya, and the door is probably something in the castle black and white, or whatever the hell it's called, the castle, temple, whatever. Uh, so I'm pretty sure it has something to do with that, and I'm really, really excited to see it. Oh, last episode just ended so cool, and I'm just so pumped, and I think someone's outside of my house right now. I don't know why. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy the episode as much as I do, and stay tuned for the review. Sansa's definitely making that awesome cloak she was wearing in the trailer. Little finger is so full of shit. Sansa, you're such a muffin. Fucking kill him. Come on. Fucking die, little finger. Come on. Fucking kill him. Like, useless piece of shit. Arya's doing so much better, though. I liked this play until Ned came in. I see why Arya's pissed. I'm mean, pissed off, too. That was her dad. Um, sudden dick on screen. Um, can I have a little warning, please? Please tell me we're gonna pick up where Bran left off. Like, seriously. Nope. We're at a tree. So the children of the forest created the White Walkers to defend against humans because humans suck. Makes sense. Why are people so against women? Like, it's ridiculous. Theon looks so nice with his haircut, though. Ugh, Theon supporting Yara. Two are just having such a cute moment, and I love it. Ugh, the look of, like, pride and happiness Yara's giving Theon. Euron, suck my dick. I don't even know who you are yet, just fuck off. Are they gonna back Danny? They're gonna back Danny. This... Okay, you're on. I kind of like you now. <laughs> and then you go and ruin it with your big cock comment. So they kill the next Ironborn king and then revive him? That's kind of fucked up. Let's go murder their niece and nephew. You just want to murder them so they can't secede you. Oh, he's showing Danny the grace kill. I hope she finds a way to fix it. Oh, Jorah just confessed his love for Danny. I can't handle you right now, Jorah. I don't want you to die. Oh, Danny's gonna take him back. I'm not crying, you're crying. Another Lord of Light lady. Great. <laughs> Varys is like 0% helping. Guys, I think this priestess might be legit, and that is kind of hella cool. As we all know, Melisandre can't get her wires crossed. Bran, are you about to go warging unsupervised? Tis tisk. Oh look, an army of White Walkers. This is why you need supervision when you warg, Bran. Go, Bran, you just fucked it all up. Santa, stop lying to your brother, please. Santa, you're just such a sweetheart. Tormund just keeps eyeing Bran, like, oh, I want that. They've just been eating moss. Oh shit, the whites are there, aren't they? Oh no! Shit, the army's there. Children of the forest. I... There are like four of you. I thought there was only one. Can't you guys just fire magic? This is really not good timing. I want to aim at the whites, though. <laughs> like ants from World War Z. Digging into the ground. This is just not going well at all. God damn it, Bran. I want you to find out about Lyanna. Who killed them? Stop killing all of their dire wolves. <laughs> the door sounds like Hodor. Um, that was the saddest backstory of any character in this show. And I'm not crying. <laughs> now that I've fixed my face and got myself together a little more, uh, so that was a very traumatizing end to that episode. <laughs> I always wondered why Hodor said just Hodor. And so this entire time, basically, he was a warg, and he had warged through 
and he had been hearing the whole, like, that whole space-time thing just melding, and he had heard Mirror yelling, hold the door. So he said Hodor for, like, the rest of his life. That is so incredibly sad. Like, and then he just, like, sacrifices himself. Like, his entire existence was to save Bran. Basically. <laughs> but, like, not gonna lie, that's, like, that's really upsetting. But, like, this just solidifies the fact that Bran is, like, the key player here. Like, he is just, like, the most important character, I think, at this point. So, like, that's cool to know and all, but it's still super dramatizing. And that was a good, really good episode, though. We went through a lot of characters... And that episode, again, like, from the title, was nothing like I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought it was going to have something to do with the House of Black and White. But instead, it was about the door. Hodor. And... <sighs> HBO, why do you do this? George R. R. Martin, why do you... Why do you rate these things? That's so sad. But, like, so cool. And, like... Oh my god, how do you even think of that? <laughs> but seriously though, good episode. I'm still very upset about Hodor, because I really liked Hodor. He was such like a nice character, and just his backstory makes him even better, honestly. And fucking Bran, why did you have to go warging without supervision? <laughs> this is your fault! <laughs> but like, obviously it was meant to be that way. I just wish that it wasn't. We still don't. Like, they're still not telling us about Leanna for sure. Come on. It's just, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. But maybe they'll tell us next episode. Maybe. So more big things this episode, we have the whole thing with Euron and Yara and Theon. And so Euron is now king of the Iron Islands, which is fucking annoying as shit. But I like his plan to go help Danny. I am a-okay with that. Him marrying her, though, eh. Euron kind of seems like a douchebag, so I don't really like that. Uh, and then I like how Theon and Yara sabotage all the boats to get away, and that's hilarious. And I really wonder where they're going to go next, what they're going to do. Maybe they'll go in advance it, to Marine and maybe try and meet up with Danny, And maybe instead Theon could marry her, but I don't want that. But like, I don't know, maybe, yeah. Oh, like, I don't know. Oh, no, I don't like that. I don't know. I'm not into that. I'm not into a whole Theon Danny thing. John and Danny all the way, please. <laughs> then, so we also have Arya getting her ass kicked. And then, so the next episode, she's gonna go and, like, probably kill this actress lady. It was kind of a weird setup where we had the whole uh, scene. It was basically them playing out the last few seasons just with the Starks and the Baratheons and stuff and how the throne has been involved except they're being really extremely rude about Ned Stark which I really didn't like but it kind of makes you think like maybe that is how it came off to other countries because no one really knows, right? Like, only the people like Arya, who are close, who were, you know, Ned Stark's daughter, would know the truth. Arya, I assume, is gonna go kill that lady, but, like, I feel like there's something more to it. Like, there's gotta be something more to it. Like, some deeper reason. Like, I know we want her to go be all, you know, part of the faceless crowd, but, like, there's gotta be, like, more of a reason to kill this lady honestly, because she's just some random lady. Like, who cares? Oh, and then we have that other heart-wrenching moment with Danny and Jorah, and Jorah finally confessed his love for her, and it was just, oh, I was so sad, because he has the freaking grayscale, and now I just love that Danny was like, okay, no, no, I now command you, you have to live now, so go fix yourself right the second. Like, I'm so glad Danny ended up saying that because I love Ser Jorah and I want him to stick around. Like, he's such a cool character and I really don't want him to die. So I hope he's gonna end up coming to Westeros, probably, and then hopefully he'll find some sort of cure. I kind of wish, though, that Danny could cure it, you know, 
I know it's just grayscale, but it's just like, it has to do with dragons, you know? I just want her to be able to cure it. And so Tyrion's whole plan seems to be going fairly well so far, apparently, as they were saying, I guess. But then he encounters another red woman. I don't remember what her name was or if they even said her name, but another red priestess. And she's supposed to be the first servant which is kind of interesting. Like, I'm kind of wondering, like, the first servant, so is she literally the first one of the Lord of Light? And then maybe that's why she can kind of see into Varys' past, and maybe she really has a connection with the actual Lord of Light, which I still hold my theory that the Lord of Light is, you know, a good, nice god and stuff. Maybe this actual lady does serve him. But the Lord of Light that I think that Melisandre was worshipping wasn't the actual Lord of Light. It was actually kind of like the devil in disguise kind of thing. I still hold up to that theory. That's my theory, is what Melisandre was worshipping. She was basically worshipping the devil who was masquerading as the actual Lord of Light. That's my theory, and I'm always gonna keep to it, man. <laughs> and so then Sansa and Jon are going to get their army, and then we see Littlefinger, who I want to strangle, and I kind of wish Sansa had killed him, but at the same time, I'm glad she didn't, because now they can use that army, and I knew they were gonna use that army. Like, some people were like, oh no, the Vale army might cause trouble, and I was just like, why? Why would they cause trouble? I think the Vale army would be loyal to Sansa because she's literally related to the child who runs it. So, like, anyway, I don't know. There's some people being weird about their opinions, but... So, I'm really excited for them to go to River Run and get the army there, and it'll be great. And so that's what Brienne's going to do. But then, like, Jon and Sansa and Mel and Podrick and stuff... They were all leaving at the same time, so, like, are they all going to River Run? If so, like, why didn't they just say that? Like, I don't know, it was kind of weird how they did that, because they weren't explaining where they were going at the time, unless they were just going to some of the other houses, which is fine, but it would be nice if they specified that, or, like, Brienne left at a separate time to make it a little less confusing how they did it. I think we hit everyone this little review thing. So anyway, I'm really excited for next episode. I have no idea what the hell it's going to be about, but I'm excited. As you know, every episode, this episode was another really good one. I think the only kind of slight lull episode we had was episode three so far, which is awesome, because last episode we had that epic thing with Danny, and it was amazing, and we loved it, but um, really, really, really powerful end of this episode, and I really loved that with Hodor but like I'm still like really sad about it <laughs> honestly like and now it's just Bran and Mira too so it's like Mira's gonna drag Bran where are they gonna go are they gonna go back to the wall are they gonna go back to Westeros are they gonna go to some other magic tree <laughs> like what are they gonna do because they're kind of saying that like old dude whose name I can't remember he was saying that Bran is gonna become him is he gonna go become a tree person too? I don't know. It was also kind of cool learning about the children of the forest there and how they actually made the White Walkers, which is actually really cool, or the Whites, or whatever. They made them, and that's really cool because they were using them to defend against the First Men because the First Men were like, oh, hey, we're just gonna kill you all. Come there. And which is really not cool. So, like, makes sense that they would make those. I literally don't blame them one bit because humans suck. Alright guys, if I forgot to talk about anything this episode and you want to talk about it with me, just comment below. Always open to discussion Game of Thrones. So you guys know I love talking about it. So of course, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next week. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that button so you can come talk to me next week. And don't forget to leave me a comment below and chapters 1, 2, and 3 of Haven are all available on my website and you can now buy Haven in ebook, paperback, and hardcover on Amazon, Freeze and Press, and all that crap. So that's down below. So if you want to check that out, if you want to support an indie author, that'd be totally cool. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name is Kat, and I'll see you next week.